Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations, where today I'm going to attempt to review Titan's Return Trypticon. Right now we've got Trypticon laid out all in his city mode, and I just could not stop playing with this guy. Um, I think he's, he, I, I don't think, I know. He is my favorite Titan class figure so far. Um, I think his city mode looks great. He's got so many features. He's so big, like, he sprawls out so much with the way the legs unfold that I like it's hard for me to get everything in a shot let me see if i can manipulate my camera a little bit we can pan down to see you know this ramp extends out all the way uh if you're curious right now uh and i showed it in a previous video i've got him all repro labeled up i also included some of his original sticker sheets uh stickers which will show more in dinosaur mode but yeah as a city he's great i mean he this was the play pattern of titan's return you got little titan master guys um, they fit into deluxe vehicles that you could put all over the city. Um, he's got all sorts of ports everywhere. He's got ramps. Um, he's got like a little tunnel that you can fit. Uh, not a legend size figure, but a little Titan Master um, with his buddy can go inside that ramp um, without any issues. Over there. Um... There's all sorts of stuff you can do with him. The The only part that I do not have stickered up right now, um, the repro labels that came with the main sticker sheet are for towers that are symmetrical. And you can see here that my, oh, uh, my towers here are not symmetrical. Uh, there's, there's different molding, so I need to get an extra sticker sheet, which I think they price at a penny, so it's basically free. Next time I order some stickers. Um, but yeah, the set looks awesome. I love the ramp connectability. Like uh, if we focus over here just on this leg, um, on both legs, he's got these ramps to connect to the Titans Return leader class figures. I know I'm moving in and out of the microphone as I'm reaching around stuff. But here we've got Sky Shadow um, in Sky Shadow's base mode. And this ramp connects perfectly fine to there so you can build out your city um i can't really leave uh there we go i can kind of leave sky shadow on the table um but yeah so like i that's my favorite thing i love these little titan masters i love the interconnectivity we have here um i'm hoping i, I saw the uh, ape face um that we've got coming to us i'm hoping he's still titan master compatible i, I don't know i haven't actually looked yet um and I think I've showed previous pictures with Fort Max all sprawled out in city mode. Um, it's a really great mechanic that I love that brings the whole line together, no matter what size class you're collecting. The Legends figures uh, of Titans Returns, they could hold Titan Masters. The Deluxes were vehicles for them. The Voyagers worked as vehicles for them. And then the, the Leaders were bases, and the, the Titans themselves integrated into the play pattern. That's something really special to me. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, Trypticon and he, uh, I mean, I can't stop gushing about him. I love on the sticker side. I love the way the repo labels pull out the details on the roads. Um, this is like an on-ramp that, um, Trypticon himself, he doesn't come with any of these guys, but he does come with full tilt here. Um, and full tilt fits perfectly onto this ramp to get him up into the city. He's got ports everywhere. If you've got guns or battle masters, you can stick them uh, over here. You can fit them over here. Um, you know, you can mount them so that, let's say, a Titan Master is manning one as a gun right there. Um, it's just ports covering this thing. Like, I don't even know if I'll if I go through the figure, um, if I'll, I'll be able to catch all of them. But yeah, great, great uh, city bot. Um, we're going to clear everything off of him and go ahead and get him transformed. So to start out transforming Trypticon, we're going to go from city mode to spaceship mode. Um, I'm actually going to do full tilt first. Full tilt's the little deluxe car that comes with Trypticon as a bow tie, and he looks great, but he also has a robot mode. Uh, we go ahead and unplug the gun, pull out Necro, which I believe is um, a a Titan class figure of what originally was Wipeout from the Marvel comics. I hope we do get 
a little Legends Wipeout at some point, either third party or otherwise. Necro can go ahead and go into his head mode, and that looks really great. And I always forget on full tilt, but we want to open up his knees and open out his undercarriage and flip out those legs. Then we can close things back up, come across, uh, or come around, pull down on his shoulders to get those out of the way, pull back on his backpack. That opens up and reveals his neck socket that we can plug Necro into very conveniently. And then we just flip out hands. And yeah, full tilt, I stickered up in an, another video besides the Trypticon video. Oh, pull up on his crotch. Um, but as a robot man, he looks really great. I love his very Decepticon-y visor. I really dig the, the stickers on him too. And I think he's just a great compliment to go with uh, Trypticon here as a, a goon. Uh, the, the main reason I'm doing this review is because I have Brunt and I want to do a Brunt review and I figure I got to do Trypticon first. Um, but yeah, full tilt's awesome. So on Trypticon, we are going to start, we'll move the camera down, get this step out of the way, flip this up. It gives us little guns and a kind of a dinosaur face, um, in that spaceship mode, which I think is pretty cool. There we go. Then we want to fold uh, in these panels, uh, those, those platforms up top. That gives us clearance to fold in these panels. Ah, there's a blast effect we missed. Um, and then we want to leave these platforms down. Um, we're going to bring that tower down also. Um, and we are going to fold in the legs. Let me see if I can do this on camera. So. We want to come in, kind of fold the platform up. Am I not so much on camera? There we go. Then we fold it down and it's got a series of pegs and slots that we want to get to line up. And I found it's a little tricky sometimes um, to get everything lined up. You kind of want to just compress and find where you're missing a peg. And then, ah, there it goes. Actually, that wasn't so bad. So that leg is in. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Get it back. Now both legs are safely put away and we want to come in on the leg, uh, fold his, his arm kind of back and out of the way, that part wasn't on camera, I'll do it on the other side. And we can come in now, push this lever in, which releases this leg port, and squeeze it into the back position. And that lets us get the foot out in front and compress things down into like a spaceship mode. So I'm gonna try and do it better on this side. Come in, move this panel uh, out of the way, move it back. Press the green lever here. That lets us separate his hip joint, bring it to the back side. Yep. And then you can straighten things out. Oh. To your liking for his spaceship mode. There it is. And that can clip off. That was just me being ham-fisted. Okay, so now we've got Trypticon in his spaceship mode, and surprisingly, he does roll. He's got some casters under him. Um, he's big, he's beefy. He's definitely a mothership-type spaceship. Uh, if you've seen some previous videos, I've been posing him with the, or, or follow me on Twitter, I'm posing him with the Shock Fleet as kind of a home base-type spaceship, and I, I really dig the way this guy looks. Um, I love that the towers, like, they've got these big imposing rear cannons. He's got these stubby little wings, but he flies in space. He doesn't really need to be actually aerodynamic. I really love that faceplate. Um, there was something that I think I discovered. I mean, other people already knew about it, but for me it was new. When I was stickering Trypticon, it was, if you come in underneath here, you can lift up. 
do it on camera. There we go. I think is really, really neat. Um, you know, your little MicroMasters, like this is from that MicroMaster 10 box set. You could store a little landing party in there and then have them roll out no problem. I, uh, I dig that a lot. Um, other than that, like there's not a ton of new play pattern in this, this mode. You can kind of stuff full tilt if you want um, as kind of a pilot type. Um, I'm actually not going to try and do it on camera, but I did like compress him down and put him back here as if he was piloting the mothership. I didn't totally love the way that looked. Um, but yeah, this is just a really, really cool uh, alternate mode, like an actual vehicle. And I love on the repro labels, if you look up here, um, it's the DSS, like the Decepticon spaceship nemesis, kind of to reference how Trypticon got turned into the nemesis um, in War for or Fall of Cybertron. Yeah, Trypticon in uh, spaceship mode is A-OK -okay by me. I think I prefer this to... Metroplex's battleship like land carrier mode and then Fort Max's spaceship mode where he's clearly just laying down. You can still see Trypticon. You know, the head's back there, but uh, I don't mind that. I think this looks really, really neat. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get him transformed into robot mode or dinosaur mode. So in order to get Trypticon all transformed, uh, the first thing we're going to do is actually transform a uh, full tilt to back really quickly. Um, I don't think I went over his articulation, but it's pretty standard to Lux articulation. The head can move, the shoulders can move due to transformation. He's got a 90 degree bicep. Um, he's got a 90 degree knee and you know the standard hip articulation. That's about it on him, but he is a super cool little deluxe. But we'll pull off Necro, we'll pull out his gun, flip in his hands. Put the shoulders back up into their car mode position. Flip down uh, this back piece. It clips all in together with his backpack. And then on his uh, legs, we flip out the backs of his shins, his calves. Flip in on the legs. Close those up. Close up his knees up front to the car mode. And there we've got him back in vehicle mode. We can open up the top to stuff Necro in there. Just stick him down in there. Put the gun on top. And now, oh, flip it. And now full tilt is all back in vehicle mode. We'll put him aside for now because we're going to turn this spaceship into a dinosaur. So the first thing is the wings close. They go back inside on both sides. There we go. We're gonna get his cannons out of the way and we're just gonna close up um, the side wing pieces of his uh, spaceship mode. And it's gonna cause the legs to come up. So let me see if I can do this on camera. Close that up. Same thing on the other side. Close that up. Then we're going to bring his uh, leg section of his hip back down and clip it back on both sides. Same thing on this end. Disengages. Clips back in down here. When these green tabs pop out, you know it's fully engaged. We can bring his toes up. And then we're just going to stand him up. It sounds like there's still a Titan Master in there somewhere. Bring the inside of his, uh, the purple pieces of the bottom of his feet up. And we can stand him. There we go. Bring that camera up just a little bit to capture his T-Rex majesty. Flip these purple sections down. And that reveals his arm, which can be pulled out given its proper T-Rex mode. Same thing on the other side and this guy's been like he's big but he's actually a lot of fun to transform everything about trypticon has just been a lot of fun um we're gonna come in and flip his t-rex 
head and the head can pull down. The cannons can come down. And there is, I mean, that's it. That's Trypticon in his uh, robot dinosaur mode. And he looks terrific again. Oh, actually, you know, I did all this stuff with full tilt and did not put full tilt on. I like to think of full tilt as kind of a, um, like a, cr oh, actually one thing I did miss, you wanna flip that crotch plate down because this peg hole is needed to get full tilt fully engaged in his uh, stomach mode for Trypticon. And yeah, here's Trypticon in his dinosaur mode. He looks awesome. Uh, like I said, uh, it's mostly repro labels, but I've got a couple um, standard decals from his sticker sheet just here and there, the extra details that the repro labels didn't really touch on. I really like that the repro labels did uh, things for his teeth, picking those out in silver. Um, he's got these big, powerful legs. He's for a Titan figure, I think he's pretty poseable. He, um, the uh, hip can go out. He's got this great ankle tilt, so you can get a big wide stance if you want on Trypticon. Um, the hips can rotate forward and backward on this nice big ratchet. He's got really sturdy knees, so you can kick out wherever you need if you want to kind of try and get him in a charging pose. Um, the tail is flexible um, in its position so you can rotate it back out more if you want to get kind of a like a more tradi not traditional but a more um, modern t-rex interpretation get his uh, head out in front of him and there he you know he can have his cannons and his head charging forward um, with his tail behind him in a more more t-rexy type position the arms themselves, besides the transformation joint, um, they articulate. You know, you can get all sorts of claw bend and stuff. Um, he can hold all sorts of guys. He is a big Titan class figure. I'm not going to show him next to Metroplex because that's just asking too much for my current setup, I think. But here he is next to a leader class figure. I mean, he just looks massive, and I love him. Trypticon is awesome. He does have his his own play patterns uh, in this mode. Uh, the biggest one is, let's get him turned a little bit this way. Can we still see? Yep. Uh, he has his famous nose cannon up top. Um, and then the one that I think was advertised the most that I, I love the most at least is he can eat Titan Masters and Prime Masters and all sorts of Masters you just put it in. He's a hungry, hungry boy. He'll gobble them all up. Uh, you can have his head tilt back as you feed him. You can kind of like he's chomping, you know, just feed him all in there. Oh, oh, I know he's not full. We'll force feed him a little bit. Get it down. There you go. There you go, buddy. Uh, and those all sit... Those can all sit if we get uh, full tilt out of the way. Those all sit in these stomach compartments, which again, these are original stickers. That's really the biggest place I added original stickers because Repro Labels didn't really touch those areas. Um, but all those Titan Masters he can eat can all sit happily in his stomach. Uh, so yeah, this is Trypticon. He is awesome and massive and impressive and out of view. Uh, just a little bit. I don't know if he's still on sale. When I originally picked him up, he was only 50 bucks. Um, but if you can pick yourself up a Trypticon, you know, for 50 bucks and then rep labels for another, I think um, when I got it was like $17. So that's less than 75 with tax for everything. This is easy, easy recommendation. This is, to me, is a high note on the Titan class. Maybe Omega Supreme will be another one. But yeah, there is Titan's Return Trypticon. And you might be asking, Cameron, why did you spend three videos unboxing, stickering, and uh, reviewing Trypticon? Well, because now that we have Trypticon done, we can talk about another one of his little friends. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you all later.